Hey guys, Hawaii Archer here. So today I'm going to do a video, kind of a two videos in one. The video will be a review on this Browning Archery Premium Fletching Tape and a how to use your Arizona Easy Fletcher to accept feather veins. Now if any of you have ever used an Arizona Easy Fletcher before or read the directions on it, it says that this is not designed to accept feather veins. I was messing around with it and I figured a way to get this to work so you can use these. I'm going to show you that. So there's some things you're going to need. Obviously you're going to need an arrow. You're going to need a razor blade, scissors, and some kind of a picking tool. I like to use this little 90 degree one here. Uh, you can pretty much use any other tool but I'll show you the reason why I like this. Also. You're going to need alcohol um, and an alcohol swab and some artificial sinew and some glue. Those two parts will be optional. I'll show you guys that later on in the video. So let's get started here. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your arrow, get your razor blade, remove the fletching and scrape off as much glue as you can. After you're done with that, you take your alcohol put it on or your alcohol swab and you just clean that whole entire area where you're gonna fletch okay the next thing you need to do is you need to prep your Arizona Easy Fletcher this is the part that takes a little time and some technique but as you can see here I got the other two in I'm just gonna demonstrate one here so as you can see here this Easy Fletchers these are plastic veins you know it accepts these plastic veins real easy they just drop right in as you can see the feathers when you try to put these in they don't really go in that easy and you kinda gotta fight it to get it in there but this technique I was messing around with and I got it in and it seemed to work very nicely so what you do is you track the first part here and you get it in there like that and you push the base of the quill in and then you just run the rest of your thumb up forward as you can see there's still some lumps here so in order to get that, what you do is you stick your thumb here and you just run the, push the feather up and squish it all the way back. You'll hear the veins going in. Takes a little bit of doing and some technique, but after a while you'll get it in there. As you can see it right there. Perfect. So now, take your fletching tape. Now with the glue, on the flat on the glue on the doing this with regular glue and anyone who's who has done arrows before know that you kinda have to wait a while before you can get take it out of the jig cool thing about this tape here is it just all you do is put it on and pull it off and it works real nice so here you go so what you do is you start at the base put a little piece of tape there and you track it all at the base of this quill and you want to make sure you get this thing center of your quill. You don't want it to do what it just did here. <laughs> Crap. You want it to be real nice and centered. Alright. And then now all I do is I just take a little piece off here. Put this guy back. So that's done with tape. Uh, obviously you're gonna do all your other veins before you stop but like I said I already pre did this this is where this little hook thing comes into play I mean if you got long nails and you can do this then by all means but I don't so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this tool here so once you get once you get the pick up there you just go ahead and remove that plastic And at this point when you're removing this plastics, you really don't want to move the the vein too much because it's going to be a you're going to have a hard time resetting it due to it's being all sticky up here. So now you go ahead and take your arrow after it's been all clean. 
set it in the, the jig here and then you simply just close all of these areas all of these limbs here Cap on, push it in, and then what I like to do with this is I'll just each individual vein I'll just push down onto the arrow to make sure that it gets stuck to the the tape sticks to the the arrow shaft. And cool thing about this right now is it's done. So this is the part where it takes some technique also to get it out. Right now, if I was to just rip this open, the, the vein will just rip right off. That's where this tool comes in. You take your tool here, and you pry it ever so gently, and then you stick it through the jig here, and you're going to run this bar of this tool uh, in this manner. Uh, up and down. <laughs> there you go. And what you want is, you want, if you can see this, you want to get this tool above the, the, the quill area here and just push straight down. And you can see it just popped right out. And you just go ahead and you do that to all the rest of these veins here. And you just want to make it one quick swoop going down. You don't want to play with it up and down because it's going to, it will pull it pull the vein right off of the arrow shaft and there you go you have a nicely feathered arrow the other part I like to do here is I like to just go with my this pick tool here and just gonna run it against the quill and push it down against the arrow shaft. It kind of ensures it ensures that it um, the tape adheres to it. Now you can do one of two things. You can shoot this arrow as is, just like this. But what will happen is eventually, as you shoot this, the wind will pick this up here, and then eventually it'll rip off. The cool thing about this tape is that once it rips off, you can still reuse this feather most of the time. Now, what you can do is you can get some of this glue or any archery glue and just glue the tips and glue the glue the back part of the arrow and that should hold it on as you can see this arrow here I had this been I've actually been shooting this one for a while now and it hasn't come off I'm not sure if you can see the glue that I put on the tips there so it's been working pretty dang good so the next part which you can do is you can use artificial sinew how to do that is you go ahead and you take your scissors and you cut about an inch up in the the veins here and about an inch in the back of the veins then you take your artificial sinew and you wrap it around and you should come out with an arrow wrap that looks like this and there so I'm going to go ahead and make a video on how to achieve this wrap. I'm sure there's a lot of it out there, but yeah, I plan on making one anyway. So anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments about how to do this or any more, basically any questions or comments, <laughs> you guys all know where to leave it. All right, check you guys later.